So hello, wonderful honor students. And at this point in time, I'm going to introduce you to the project that you're going to be embarking upon for the next few weeks um, through the rest of the quarter. Pretty involved and hits a lot of um, levels and a lot of standards in terms of um, research, writing, analysis, synthesis, etc. So the project introduction itself is research. The whole point of this is to research a poet, but there's so many more things involved in it. Um, we're going to use technology to research and gather information from multiple sources. That's going to be the baseline of our project. But of course, we're going to describe, explain, and inter interpret, which are all DOK levels. We'll get you really thinking analytically, um, starting off just a little research and then really thinking critically and analytically. So how are we going to do this with a project? Let me explain the steps of this to you. We'll be walking through this project one step at a time. So after you view this video, if you're a little overwhelmed, don't worry. It's spread over a bunch of weeks. And um, it's certainly not something that's expected by Friday. So, um, and I will guide you through this entire process, okay? So the first step of our process is you're going to select a poet. Um, I have a poet list that is a resource that's available to you um, under this explanation where you'll have a list of poets that you can choose. Then after you've selected a poet, you're going to select three of his or her poems. So make sure you understand the poems before you say to me, hey, I've chosen E.E. E. Cummings, I've chosen Poe, I've chosen Angelou, I've chosen Robert Frost. Make sure you come to me and say, I understand three of these poems. These are the three I'm using, and I really want to explore this poet. That's very important. That's step one. Okay, we'll get, that. We'll get to that very quickly. Step two, you're going to analyze the poems, and there's a separate lesson that teaches you how to analyze these poems, so please refer to that. However, you're going to look for meaning. What is the meaning of the poem? What are some literary devices, author's craft, author's purpose within each poem? And you're gonna write on the poems, and again, this is explained in that specific lesson for step two called scanning. You're going to scan each of your poems and there are examples for you. Step three asks you to synthesize what you've learned. That means put everything together you're going to compare and contrast all three of your poems. Does the author use a lot of rhythm, a lot of rhyme, a lot of structure? Or is the author all over the place, the poet all over the place? You're gonna compare and contrast them. What is similar about all three poems and what is very different? Then I'm going to ask you, I know this seems a little late, but we're gonna ask you to research your poet. So you've already analyzed the poems at this point. You're a master of your poet's poems. You've analyzed three of them. You're now going to research your poet where we're going to dig a little bit more into citing your resources in a bibliography. We'll review MLA format and you're going to be coming up with some facts about your poet. I will be providing a graphic organizer for this purpose to guide you. You're going to be looking at birth and early childhood, midlife through death, and then how would you write like that poet? Now that you've analyzed three of his or her works, what does this poet have in terms of structure, craft, what does this poem write, poet write about? Is he always writing about nature? Tragedy if you're Poe? Love? What are, what are the characteristics of this poet? So you're going to fill out this graphic organizer after you do all of your research and while you do it actually as well. Then you're going to take the research from the graphic organizer and write a poem about your poet. And again, this is structured. I'm going to teach you how to do that. You'll write in sentence format and you'll follow the guidelines that will be provided to you. And again, I'm walking you through all, the, all of these steps. Finally, you're going to assemble your project. There's a certain way to do that. We're going to have a cover page. We're going to have our scanned poems uploaded or saved as you'll, you'll be explained. You're going to submit this to me in parts and you're gonna get a part for, uh, grade for each part. And then you guys are gonna present your projects to one another for a project presentation grade. So every DOK level is covered here. Um, Bloom's Taxonomy, we have all the eight levels of that as well within this project that will take us through the end of the quarter. This is a mere introduction to kind of see what you guys are in for. You can refer to the step-by-step -step guide that is sitting here as well um, to kind of dig a little bit deeper and show the specific steps for each um, step within itself, um, sub-steps. And then we're gonna get going on this, so. Have a poet in mind and off we go. And of course, I'll be guiding you through this in class and outside of class. Have a good day, guys.